Give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Rash, the wanders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim. Walk with him, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Alright, this is gonna be another video through the spirit based off of a dream that I had. Alright, I didn't just try to do two videos and YouTube kept taking them down. Alright, not this one, but just two generals in the video. Uh two videos in general. This shit's fucking pissing me off, but uh this is a dream that I had last week, you know. Uh, I'll say this week I've been getting a lot of dreams, especially, you know, because I, you know, when I'm working, you know, in my truck, if I find somewhere to stop, I'll sleep. And I've been having a lot of dreams in my truck. And this dream that I had, you know, we're going to be going to Revelation 11. We're going to be going to Jacob, I mean, <laughs> Jeremiah, Jacob 30 and 7, <laughs> dealing with Jacob's trouble and the fact that our people are nowhere near Esau Edom is going to come down with such wrath, it's going to be absolutely inhumane this is his final go around so he's going to come down with such a wrath that the majority of our people are not ready for and the wicked israelites that are teaching our people that there isn't going to be a jacob's trouble they're just that wicked all right so basically this dream you know to start it off for whatever reason i'm getting into a fist fight with an edomite you know we're in like martial law you know like post society you know everything's messed up but i'm getting into i'm in a fist fight with a with an edomite you know you know, we we bucking and we we bucking and bowling and <laughs> on the street, and so some Israelite, a so-called black man, tried to come up and stop me. He tried to come to the defense of this Edomite for whatever reason. I don't know if it was his homie or whatever. So you know, I get to I get to turn my attention to the Jake. You know, about to give him about to give him some some knuckle sandwiches, and lo and behold, some martial law martial law Edomite troopers bust out of nowhere. And I still can't remember. I don't know if it was a flamethrower. I don't know if it was, you know, I don't think a nuke went off. You know, the missiles didn't drop yet. Or it was some sort of, like, I don't know if it was, I don't know if they shot out a flamethrower or what. But they used some sort of weaponry that produced flame. And they hit this Jake with that flame. And I've never heard a person scream like that in my life. The cries and the screams that that dude was letting out was unhuman you know and i remember you know they hit him with it and he was burning and burning and he hit the ground burning kicking and rolling screaming you know shrieking you know noises that you only gonna make it in the process of dying and when when he got done burning his skin was a glowing hot orange and it, as it started cooling it was dusty you know it was like ash and he was laying there on the ground screaming, kill me, kill me, you know, he, kill me, kill, and his voice wasn't normal like mine, his throat was ripped apart from the flames, so it sounded, it sounded animalistic, you know, I, I'm not giving it justice when I, when I shout it, um, you know, imagine Jason or Darth Vader or, you know, just a creature from a scary movie, kill me, kill me, kill me, he was laying there twitching, he just kept screaming for someone to kill him. He just wanted to die. He just wanted the pain to be over. And there was a gun on the ground, you know, so he took the gun with the last little strength that he had. It was like an M4A1, you know, long rifle. And he, he was trying to lift the barrel and aim it at his face. You know, if you could imagine, he had the gun, he had the trigger in one hand and the, he was holding it by like the magazine with the other. And he was trying to aim it at his face, but his, his, his arms weren't steady because he just got done being burnt. And right before he finally was able to get it to his face, one of the troopers came and kicked the gun out the way and shot him in his fucking, shot him in his head, man, and ended him. You know, the troopers didn't do anything to me. They just ended him. And I just got some scriptures, you know, the, the fire that, that they hit him with, I don't know what the hell that was. And the, the noises of pain that he was making was, you know, when I woke up out that dream, I woke up like, you know how a dream happens and you, you kick up hard and quick. It was one of those dreams, you know, I kicked up like, what the fuck? Holy shit. You know, one of those, you know, my heart was beating. I was like, damn, you know, so let's get this out of revelation. You know, Hey, look, the heavenly father is going to have things go down. You're going to have people going through types of hell, wishing that, <laughs> wishing that they were dead. All right. This is going to be revelation. Is it 11? Let me see. I don't know why I always do that. I always say Revelation 11, but it's Revelation 9 and 6. It says, And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, 
and death shall flee from them. All right, you know, this scripture came to mind. And you know, when you go in Revelation dealing with World War One and uh, eventually World War Three, which we're about to experience, you know, it was dealing with the you know the people who survived the atrocities of World War One. You know, people who went through shell shock and whatnot. But we're going to be seeing this in today's time. The Heavenly Father is going to have people go through a horrific event and they're not going to die. You're going to have people that get hit with like a, a you know, a round and half their torso has gone. And they're just going to be there suffering. All right. Because their destiny is to eat a nuclear missile. All right. And I can't, I can't, I cannot properly produce the noises that he was making, y'all. I'm telling you, you know, kill, kill me, kill me, kill me. Like he was done. You know, he was, he was laid there looking like a piece of charcoal you know and he came to help that Edomite to try to beat me up and it completely turned on him man it completely turned 180 degrees and it's crazy because the Edomites he was trying to help an Edomite and the Edomites came and just put him straight to death they did not give a flying they didn't give a, a flying F they didn't give him they didn't give not one F that he was coming to their defense they put that man straight to the death you know and they were as they were burning him and watching him kick and flee and scream they were like laughing they were enjoying it you know but he he he, he it wasn't his time to go he had to suffer that pain you know so and that was just my dream you know imagine what people are going to go through when the heavenly father sends those nuclear flames all right to to wrap this bitch up america it's going to be horrific y'all it's going hey, man you know that shit kind of shook that shit kind of like scared me a little bit i woke up <laughs> jeremiah 30 and 7 alas for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, so this is going to be a time like never, never before, man. And any group, any Israelite telling you there's no Jacob's trouble or trying to downplay it, they're full of shit. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. The Holy Spirit is not on that person. The Bible tells you that this is going to be like a time like never before. Imagine watching somebody get burnt to a crisp and them screaming to die, and they're just laying there suffering and twitching. All right, I can still, that nigga was hot orange. That nigga was glowing, twitching and shaking and shit. He was done, you know, organs, eyeballs, done. All, only thing you could make out was the fact that it was a body on the ground. You couldn't make out shit. Clothes melts into his skin, teeth, eyeballs, hair, all of that, done for. He was hot orange and, and ash. This is not a joke. This is what's coming to this world, all right? Jacob's trouble. This man E is not going to be playing with us. This man is trying to wipe us off of this mug, y'all. This man wants to get back that revenge for the birthright. All right, taking it back to uh, Genesis. All right, now Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. This man is going to come down harder than he's ever come down to us y'all you ever been in a fight man a nigga was trying to take your head off it's going to be a hundred million jillion times worse than that all right esau is going to literally try to exterminate our people to where yahweh shai hamashiach is going to have to stand up daniel chapter 12 micah Allah, the archangel all right who is like god you know the name of my, the meaning of the name michael micah Allah, who 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 is like god you know literally Man, man, you know, words ain't doing it justice. I wish I could just let y'all see it out of my own eyeballs. This is going to be no joke, and this man is coming to bring the pain. He doesn't give a f he doesn't give a f if you believe he's going to do it or not. You know, so just real quick video. I just want to get these thoughts down. You know, get it up. This ain't no joke. You know, so with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakurash, the Waters, the Elders and Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wag, uh, Akhwakim, uh, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.